thank you both so much for your time. We really, really appreciate it. Um, to kick us off, why don't you just tell me a little bit about what your film is actually all about? Uh, it's called Between Dog and Wolf. It's the New Model Army story. New Model Army being a band, a, a, an English punk rock band. They were when they formed. I wouldn't call them an English punk rock band now, but they formed in 1980. And it's basically the history of the band um, told through the people who've been involved with the band over 34 years. And um, what was it that inspired you to get involved? Well, how did you end up getting involved with the film? I was sat with a friend um, trying to think of ideas for TV programmes. I work in television. And the night before I'd been to see New Model Army, and I, they play every, every December they was playing in London, and it was kind of like my annual event. I only go by myself because I didn't have any friends who would ever go with me. Um, and I told him about it and he said, you should make a film about that. Because I, I was enthusing about the band and how much I loved them. Um, and so inspired by him, I wrote to Justin Sullivan, who's the lead singer. And I, pretty soon afterwards, he called me up, which I wasn't expecting at all. Um, but yeah, then that, was, that was four and a half years ago, so it's taken quite a long time. <laughs> Matt showed me some of the things that he'd already filmed uh, and they were brilliant uh, and I thought well uh, uh, the story of the main uh, driver of the band uh, Justin Sullivan is actually a really good story and is a very unique character uh, which isn't at all well known and we sort of decided this would be a great way to tell it's quite an uplifting story with a lot of tragedy along the way. The thing about New Model Army is over the years they kind of were sort of hated by the, the British press and did very little press. There was very little, it's very difficult to find out about them, certainly before YouTube. I mean, as you know, as the internet kind of developed, you, you, you kind of, it was easier to, is easy, it became easier to find out more about them. But they were quite elusive, partly by their own making, partly because that's the way they wanted it. But that obviously makes it a more interesting topic because no one had really covered them. And there was, they, they were kind of, because um, they, they are just, they're a cult band and um, uh, uh, that people either love them or hate them. It's kind of a cliche, but it's true. And so that's naturally appealing as a, as a subject matter. It's just why they piss so many people off and why so many people dislike them as a kind of, as a kind of area that was instantly appealing to try and, try and tell that story, I guess. And uh, how do you both feel about having the film at Rain Dance? It must be great. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, um, uh, it doesn't really feel. It won't really feel real until I've seen it on a big screen. I've not seen it on a big screen yet, so not a proper big screen. So yeah, no, it's great. So Thank you. To watch it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't watched it for a year, which I think is a good thing, because I've actually watched it a lot of times before that. So it's going to be nice watching it vaguely fresh.